Hey everybody, it's Holly from Baby Gizmo, and today we're talking about car seats. If you're expecting a baby, you might be overwhelmed by the different car seat options on the market and confused on which one is right for your child. So today I'm gonna to explain the three main car seat categories, the infant car seat, the convertible car seat, and the booster car seat. So let's start with the infant car seat. An infant car seat is a rear-facing option for newborns up to about 30 pounds, depending on the style and the brand. This is the Kiko KeyFit 30 Magic. It's a great example of an infant car seat and accommodates five pounds all the way up to 30 pounds or 30 inches, whichever comes first. Now the style of an infant car seat with this bucket style and the handle is very convenient for putting a small baby into the car and taking them out of the car while they're still in the seat. Let's say they are sleeping and you don't want to disturb them. You can take them into the house or you can clip them onto a compatible stroller. Now it's important to note that an infant car seat is always rear facing. You would never forward face an infant car seat. It can be installed with the included base or with the vehicle seat belt by itself. Now another convenience feature is the fact that infant car seats are designed to clip in with a compatible stroller to turn it into a travel system. So if you're looking for that type of stroller where you can just clip your infant car seat on, that is what you're going to want to go with. You're going to start with the infant car seat. Now the next car seat category is the convertible car seat. The convertible car seat got its name from the fact that it converts from a rear facing to a forward facing seat. Now, while you could technically skip the infant car seat category altogether and put your newborn right into a convertible car seat, convertible car seat's probably not one you're gonna wanna skip because it's the most popular car seat category. Most kids have a convertible car seat and spend the most time in a convertible car seat. So, convertible car seats, they accommodate kids from anywhere from four to five pounds up to and over 65 pounds, depending on the brand and the style. This is the Kiko Next Fit Zip, and this one accommodates five pounds up to 65 pounds or 49 inches, whichever comes first. Now, a good tip when you're looking for a convertible car seat is to look for one that has a high rear facing weight capacity. Now, the Next Fit has a 40 pound rear facing weight capacity, which is great because that allows you to rear face your child even longer. The American Academy of Pediatrics recommends rear facing your children as long as possible because it is the safest. Now, convertible car seats, they can be installed with the latch or with the vehicle seat belt, rear facing or forward facing. But this is not a portable car seat. This is one you're going to install in your vehicle and leave in your vehicle. You're not gonna move it around with your child in the seat. So this one, like I said, it's gonna be the longest lasting convertible car seat. You're gonna to wanna to keep your child in a convertible car seat as long as possible. Now the last car seat category and your child's last stop in the car seat world is the booster car seat. Now booster car seat's job is to lift your child's bum so the vehicle seat belt fits them properly. Now booster seats, they go anywhere up to and above 100 pound weight capacity. This is the Kiko Kid Fit. It's a great example of a booster seat. And booster seats actually come in two different categories. So I could break this into two categories for you. You've got the high back booster and you have the backless booster. Now the high back booster, this not only boosts your child's bum up, but it also has a seatbelt positioner right here so that the seatbelt is positioned properly and stays properly on your child. So I always start my kids with a high back booster. And in my house, since I do have them in their convertible seats as long as possible, we wait for a booster until they're about seven or eight years old. Then we move them to a high back booster. Now when they get old enough and they can sit still in a booster seat, you could turn it into a backless booster seat. When you remove the back, you have a backless booster seat. And like I said, this just raises their bum. So they do need to be mature enough to be able to sit in the seat and leave the seat belt where it goes. So that's it. Those are the three main car seat categories. The convenient infant car seat, the long lasting convertible car seat, and the last stop in the car seat world, the booster car seat. I hope this video helped you navigate the different categories of car seats and help you choose the one that's right for your child at their specific age. So that's it with us. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you want to see more videos from Baby Gizmo. See you later. Bye.